Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Let's do a unboxing. I ordered uh, a, a yeah I think three um, new orchids from uh, Swerder from Germany. Um, if I'm correct, one is a replacement, uh, but we will see if I'm correct. I just uh, opened the box because my uh, address information is on the other side, and uh, I did cut loose on the tape. Well, I did forget a piece. I see. And here in front, you cannot see it. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. So I hope everything is as good as it uh, as it can in frame. And there we go. There is that part. So just have a we will have a look at the new plants. I'm really excited. I always love having new plants coming in. A Telumnia. You see him here. I hope you can read the name. Yairek Flyer Gullis. So my Telumnias, I have four of them now, growing in little small clay pots with pumice. Yeah, I think only a pumice I have in. And they are really, really enjoying it. So I have, um, I think, three of those clay pots left. So I thought, yeah, I need to fill them up. But I really want to buy, um, of course, orchids that I really like. So I just bought one that stood out for me uh, that I thought of that that would be nice to add in my collection. So, um, but yeah, I don't have to uh, buy Autolumnias this year, of course. But yeah, they, they really like it. So uh, I see a lot of new roots coming. It's very handy for me to water them. They dry up quickly. Those are one of the... Yeah, the Vendas and the Lomnias I do not have in self-watering. But the rest is uh, all of my arcs are in self-watering. But it really works. And there we go. Piece of paper around it. Let's get it off. And there we have it. Very nice small Tolumnia. But most of the time this is the size, in my experience, where, where you get them in. But we have beautiful uh, growing root tips. At least, yeah, I see the one there, one there. So I just keep them in the basket and put them in a pot with some uh, ceramics. Uh, not ceramics, I'm sorry, with some uh, pumice around them in a clay pot so you don't see the basket anymore. But then I don't have to uh, break those roots and um, the plastic will not uh, degrade as well. So they can stay in their little pots. So this is the first one. Let's put it somewhere and have a look at one of the eyes. Yes, this is a replacement, sadly, after two and a half years, I think, maybe three, my Irene Duncan did die. I don't know exactly why, it just shut off, get, though, uh, get down uh, quite quickly, So, uh, but I really like it, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to give give it a try because it's, I really like the blooms. I never had them in real. I saw them in real life, but I yeah. I I just hope one day I will. So let's have a look. It feels quite big, but and and kind of heavy. Oh, uh, no. I thought maybe it's clay pot, but it's not a clay pot. It's a lot of plastic. It's a pot in a pot, I think. Yeah, well, this is... Uh, 
yeah I think it's about the side that mine were probably even a little bit bigger so okay that's beautiful because I bought a very small one so it finally uh, did reach the age of uh, making a flower spike and then it died off so it was a bit sad but this one is uh, it's quite big it has quite some leaves on uh, on, on, on it already and to stabilize it I think they put another pot around it for uh, for transport as you see it has two pots it's very very damp that's not a good thing so I'm gonna get it out of this out of pot and put it um, inside the greenhouse where I have quite a lot of air ventilation going on because I want but uh, I don't want uh, mold creating in, inside of the pot of course but I see already a beautiful roots here there something there so yeah and, and the roof here so yeah but yeah this is one is definitely bigger than the one I have had so I'm happy, I'm really happy with this. You can see it's a beautiful plant. Yes, welcome back, Irene. I'm happy with you. Okay, I can use this pot, so I will keep it. This is my little freebie, I think. <laughs> so, put it there. Okay, okay, this is the last one. And he is one of my viewers, but he didn't get, give me an answer on a question because you may be now like, what are you talking about? Well, I was over on Facebook on one of my groups that I was, uh, where I'm in, and one of the other uh, members did show a beautiful picture of blooms of a Phenoliopsis type, uh, yellow and white, and you may have heard me say it before but I don't know what it is but a combination of yellow and white I really really love so I thought I thought I need to have that plant it's so beautiful and he's also like I said he's also sub subscribed to my channel and I think I will he will see this video still you didn't answer my question because I uh, I asked you the question if I um, if you didn't mind that I uh, uh, mentioned your name on my channel you only laughed, so I don't know <laughs> if that is a yes or a no. Doesn't matter, but you really, really inspired me to uh, buying this orchid, and I'm really thankful for it. Uh, Finally, up says, I, I sim beaming sun. I, I, I sim, I think I pronounce it like that, but beaming sun. Beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, that's uh, it, was kind of funny. Let's see, let's have a look at the plan. Let's see what kind of condition this one is. The first two I'm really happy so far. Looking really good. This package is quite long. Maybe there's something in there. With blooms, but who knows? Who knows? Very long, yes, 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 yes. Look at that! It's a <laughs> beautiful plant at first, but yes, indeed, it has a flower spike with flowers. Oh, that's funny. I just mentioned them. Why I just. That was the inspiration to buy this plant. Oh, yes. Yes, look at that. I'm sorry. I hope it's look at the blooms. Isn't that funny? I just mentioned them that I fell in love with this one because of the blooms that that certain person did show on Facebook. And I just got one in flower. Do not attach a fragrance. I don't know if it's fragrance. Probably not. I don't know actually, but Beautiful, like I said, the combination of yellow and white. 
I don't know what it is, but I love it. But yeah, I wasn't expecting a flower spike, I must admit. But it's a very, very nice surprise, I must admit. And it's funny because I also almost mentioned to you guys, just maybe you want to look it up because the blooms are so fantastic. And now I just could show them to you guys. So you just have an idea of the blooms. Maybe you, you don't like them as much as, uh, as I or we do, but um, yeah, once again, a beautiful contrast. Beautiful plant. I think it's flowering size. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course, flowering size. Beautiful plants. Beautiful roots. New growing tip there. Some darker here, but I see quite a lot of uh, new roots as well. So, uh, yeah. I'm a little bit uh, out of words. I really didn't expect these blooms. I'm so happy. Beautiful. Yeah, I tried to smell it again, but still no fragrance. <laughs> yeah, so okay. I will put them uh, in my greenhouse and we will have a less, less look at them. But yeah, beautiful plants. Nothing to add there. This feels a little bit drier. Still quite damp. Okay, I'm gonna put them in uh, in the uh, in the greenhouse, and we will have a last look at these three newbies in my uh, greenhouse in my collection. I'm sorry. <laughs> so let's head over to the greenhouse and just put them on the floor. There, there they are. So bright, it's yellow. So you have a uh, you hear quite some noise. That's because this uh, fan is running. And also one in front of the door. I have the door open because it's a nice temperature outside. And in the greenhouse it's actually 25 degrees, uh, yeah, degrees Celsius and 66 uh, humidity, percent humidity. So that's very nice and I think these guys can use some fresh air. So therefore I'm just leaving them on the ground. They just came out of the box and need to acclimate uh, to my environment. They've been quite a lot I think so yeah yeah probably one of my favorites the color wise I really really love it so thank you you person to inspire me to buy this plant my beautiful new Irene Duncan and a beautiful Tolumnia so this was my order from Schroeder Thank you guys for watching and as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and I will try to get them uh, at, at them as soon as I can. And uh, for now, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!